Hello and welcome to Screwball Psyche. Today we are going to be talking about the real Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders is perhaps Britain's greatest TV depiction of gang life. The heavily romanticised depiction of the underworld post World War I is a masterpiece. Unlike much of the US market, the British film industry often strives for gritty realism. Peaky Blinders, obvious exceptions aside, is brutally believable, perfectly illustrating the reality of violence. Perhaps the realism comes from the fact that the Peaky Blinders gang did actually exist. Much of the story draws from real life. As stated by Historic UK, they were a late 19th century street gang based in the English Midlands. There are a few theories as to how they got their name. The most popular and most fanciful story is that they got their name from stitching razor blades into their flat caps to be used as weapons. However, this is doubtful as disposable razor blades were not commonplace during this period. It is also theorised that they got their names as they would peek out from under their low hanging caps in order to avoid identification when committing crimes. Lastly, English street slang uses the word blinder to describe someone visually striking. The name Peaky Blinder may have been given to them to describe their sharp dress sense. As described by HistoryExtra.com, the gang dressed to impress. They wore extravagant bell-bottom flares and nail-hobbled boots. They also wore tailored suitwear including a waistcoat, starch-coloured shirts and brightly coloured silk scarves. They also wore tailored jackets and overcoats. There is some debate over their hatwear. History Extra maintain the razor-lined caps were a myth and that they actually wore billycock or bowler style hats. However, the majority of the historical photographs of the gang had them wearing caps, so it is hard to fully agree with this narrative. As mentioned by Smithsonian Magazine, the gang were largely made up of the young working class, crippled by the Industrial Revolution. The gang was said to be led by Kevin Mooney, real name Thomas Gilbert. They lived in overcrowded slums in Birmingham. They were not the highly organised crime syndicate as portrayed by the TV series, but low level criminals. Pickpockets and opportunists, bullying and robbing the weak and vulnerable. As published by GQ magazine, the Peaky Blinders formed in opposition to the Sloggers gang. The Sloggers would batter both male and female victims with a buckled belt in order to mug them. In terms of organised crime, they did run illegal betting and protection rackets, but again, most of their crimes were petty. Petty theft and robbery were their main earners. Violence was high on their agenda and they often attacked at will, stabbing and beating innocent victims who were caught in the wrong place at the wrong time. The gang started to fizzle out in the early 20th century. The reason for this is twofold. A new, highly organised gang named the Birmingham Boys took territorial control of the area and the outbreak of the First World War meant any male gang members were sent to fight for the army. It is likely that the Peaky Blinders TV series drew inspiration from both the real Peaky Blinders and the Birmingham Boys. Certainly the cunning Tommy Shelby fits more with the profile of Billy Kimber, the head of the Birmingham Boys. The slick and intelligent bookmaker 
was said to be the largest crime boss in the UK for a period of time. He owned and ran illegal betting at racecourses all over England, including London. However, that is a video for another day. The real Peaky Blinders were nothing more than street thugs and bullies who terrorised the already run-down ghettos of Birmingham. <laughs>